The role of a volunteer coordinator is to find and educate engage and support our volunteers and to celebrate them as well. Um, I also help facilitate communication between the volunteers and the family and the rest of the hospice team too. The purpose of our program is really to provide um, direct and indirect support for our patients and families. So whether it's a volunteer making a companionship visit for extra social emotional support or a vigil visit when someone is reaching the very end of their journey, um, providing that extra warmth and presence, making a bereavement phone call to a loved one who's lost a family member on our service to check in and say, how are you doing? How's it going? Um, or our administrative volunteers who help in the office so that we can really focus more of our time and intention on patient care. We have pet therapy volunteers who bring in their certified therapy animals to bring joy and comfort to our patients. Um, our program helps in a variety of ways to really make our compassionate care the best that it can be. Our volunteers really bring a whole variety of skills and talents from singing and playing musical instruments to giving hand massages, playing a game, um, bringing their pet therapy animal in um, to provide that comfort and support. Um, but really more important than a specific set of skills on paper is really the heart that they bring and the intention and focus to connect with another human being, um, to let them know that they matter. And they matter because they're here and we want to value them. And that's really gets at the heart of what volunteerism in hospice is about. It's not um, a set of skills that you're going to say, I'm going to go in and bring this. It's more, it's about the heart. It's really about the heart and connecting and showing the value and honor that that person has, whether you've had a long-standing relationship with them and gotten to know them for weeks, or this is your first time meeting them. Um, that's really where the beauty lies.